feel about it Something in the way you I'm Lauren, and the instruments I took with Chelsea are guitar and piano, and I also took voice lessons. I think I was 11 or 12. I was in fifth grade, and I think it was 2012, so a long time ago. So for my first lesson, I was actually with my sister, because we were both there to take voice lessons, so we went in together. And we were taking lessons with someone else, and we kind of didn't really want to change teachers, but my mom was like, oh, Chelsea's, she's young and she's cool and she looks like Taylor Swift. And I loved Taylor Swift and I just wanted to have lessons um, from someone who looked like her because that would be like really cool. So I remember I was really nervous, but I'm pretty sure since Kristen was there, I was singing really loud and I, I think we were pretty passionate. Yeah, it was fun. So the first song that I remember for vocal lessons was Jar of Hearts by Christina Perry. And I'm pretty sure Kristen also sang that with me for the first couple lessons when we were together. And then the first guitar song that I learned was We Are Never Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. But we are never, ever, ever back and I thought it was so cool because I could finally, well, I could play the guitar. It wasn't, it wasn't like the, <laughs> the best strumming, but I uh, I actually have a video from when I was like 11 or 12. Uh, right after my lesson, I came home and I took a video of myself playing and singing that. And it's hilarious because I thought it was so good, but it, it sounds really bad. But I was really proud of myself, so yeah. So I did rock instruction program, RIP, for two years in a row, two summers. And it was really cool. I did a I did the 50s show and I did the 80s show and I love them both. And then I did Christmas caroling with the figgy puddings for at least like three or four years I'd say and that was really fun too. And I also did Valley Voices, the a cappella group. It was pretty short-lived, but I was there the year we performed at the um, fall concert. And I remember that was a pretty memorable experience. I really just enjoyed all of them equally, I have to say. I think RIP was really cool because we had a lot of different instrumentalists and it was kind of cool to see people play instruments that I myself never learned how to play, like the drums and really cool electric guitar stuff. And it was kind of cool to observe them learning the process as well. And I also really enjoyed the caroling and the acapella because I am a really big harmony person and it was always my job to come up with the crazy harmonies. And I always had so much fun just adding in little harmonies and different parts. So yeah. So my favorite song that I've ever learned with Chelsea has to be Black Horse and the Cherry Tree. No, 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 you're not the one for me. Be black horse in the cherry tree. I might not get there cause my heart's forsaken me, yeah. Because not only was it one of the more challenging strum patterns I've ever learned, but it's just the song, it's my go-to song for any performance, open mic, and I just remember she would do it at some open mics and 
I would think in my head, that that sounds like so cool, but it's probably too hard for me to learn. And then once I learned it, I was so proud of myself and it's always been a fan favorite. So I would definitely say that song. All right, so the hardest song that I remember learning was probably Dream a Little Dream of Me. And at that point I was pretty advanced, not advanced, but I, I kind of knew what I was doing on the guitar, but I was, I was really used to just like simple chords, but it had some bar chords in it and it had some jazzier chords that I wasn't used to. So yeah, that was pretty challenging during the time that I was learning it. So my favorite student performances, the first one was actually my first concert and it was the winter concert. And it's back when uh, Valley Music Center had the, the room next door and it had a little stage. And I thought it was just so cool because it had like multicolored lights and there was an audience. And it was the first time that I performed in front of an audience that big, you know, with guitar. And I think I might have played piano, but I, I'm pretty sure it was just guitar. And I felt like a real rock star. And then my other favorite student performance would have to be my last fall concert when I got to sing For Good with Chelsea. And it was really emotional. And my grandma was like crying in the audience. And it was just a lot of fun. And I'll always remember it. So as far as other venues, I really, really love to perform at the open mic that Chelsea hosted at the Inn at Millrace Pond. And it was the first public performance that I've ever done. Um, the concert was more like family and friends, but it was just a restaurant and I didn't know anyone in the audience and I was really scared, but it was just so much fun. And it ended up becoming my favorite open mic for years to come after that and we also love the food there. So that was one of them. And then I also really loved performing with RIP because we had some pretty cool venues. We performed at um, the Long Valley Middle School, which was really cool because it was like a pretty high up stage and felt really official. And then we also performed in Califon, I believe, at the like fall festival. And that's when I first discovered the beautiful town of Califon, and now I'm always there. And it was really just festive, and yeah, I liked those. Well, in terms of taking lessons with Chelsea, I'd have to say that I learned how to play guitar pretty proficiently, I'd say. So I think that's a really big accomplishment because I came in there, um, I don't even think I, I owned a guitar when I first started seeing Chelsea for lessons. So I remember my mom bought me a guitar that was on sale for Black Friday and then the next lesson I was already in there trying to learn and then from then to now it's just crazy all the things I learned and all the songs I learned and different strum patterns and I think guitar is something I'm really really proud of. In other ways I'm also really proud of my musical theater accomplishments because I've done so many different shows with my school and community theater and I've gotten some nominations and awards and I feel really, really proud of that. And I've actually decided to go to college for drama. So that love of musical theater kind of transformed into my major as well. So it's really impacted my life. So I definitely want to have music as a part of my career and my lifestyle forever. I love it. It helps me express myself. I want to keep doing musical theater in college. I want to do some shows in college. And then I also want to keep songwriting and hopefully one day I can release my own album or EP. And yeah, just anything with singing or songwriting or playing instruments, I want to keep that really close to me at all times. And now One of the biggest lessons I've learned is don't give up. Even if in the beginning it seems like there's no room that you'll ever improve because it's just so challenging or it, it takes so much time to put in all the practice hours. But if you really stick 
to something, you can end up being very proud in the end. And, you know, looking back, you'll see how much you progressed and it's a really, really good feeling. So never give up. And also music is really powerful, especially when you're sharing it with others, whether it be in a duet or even, you know, taking music lessons from another person who loves music or especially performing in front of an audience. Music is just so powerful and it transforms people and it's really healing too. Well, my advice is don't be afraid to ask questions and to really make sure that you understand exactly what Chelsea is teaching you at all times because it can be really challenging when you're first starting off with voice or an instrument because it's something you're new to. So just ask as many questions as possible and also practice every single week. I know it can be really hard to find time, especially with school and other activities, but it's so, so important to really put in those hours because then you'll be confident enough to perform in front of people and you won't be second guessing everything. And yeah, just really stick with it because it, it's a really big payoff in the end. So if you really wanna pursue music, you have to do anything in your power to get yourself on stage, to get your name out there, to get people to watch you. It can even be small open mics. Like I've done open mics at restaurants where there's literally only two people in the audience and one of them is the waiter. But just getting your name out there, um, getting a YouTube channel, maybe an Instagram account, some sort of social media where you can post covers and you know showcase your performances and just really make a name for yourself because you know there's a lot of people in this industry who want to do music and it's pretty competitive sometimes and it can be kind of you know sad when you feel like you don't have a lot of opportunities to really show your true potential but as long as you're really willing to just get on stage and show everyone what you can do and share your love of music you're going to be really proud of yourself and other people are going to recognize you as the musician that you are so I, when I first started lessons, I had no idea that it would really become what it is. I was such a shy and like, I was not confident at all back then. And I always loved music and performing, but I never really thought that it was my thing until I started taking lessons with Chelsea and she was just so encouraging. And she really helped me grow in, you know, guitar, piano and voice. And I really wouldn't be the musician or person that I am today without her she really helped me blossom. So thank you, Chelsea, for everything you've done for me.